this is pretty much all you need to generate high quality images for your project now i'm not talking about just stock photos alone i'm talking about different kind of images icons and the rest of them you don't have to use free peak and other paid platforms for images again you can pretty much just use this tool and you have your matter set to so let's dive into uh, the tool so the first tool i actually use is is chat gpt now here is where i create all my prompt all right because i don't have of course i don't know how to create prompt myself uh, or not i don't know how to create prompt myself i may not be as clear as possible um or as clear compared to chat gpt right that's why i love using chat gpt it helps me reconstruct or construct my prompt better so what i do is whatever it is that i want to enter um however rough it is in my head i just write it here send to chat gpt and it helps me create a prompt all right so maybe you are working on a content written by a content creator and he or she gave you an image suggestion okay, this is so 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 image and you have to use for here all you need to do is just to copy the suggestion and paste it on um chat gpt and it helps you create a prompt for it so let's say this is the prompt we want this is an image you want to use okay i think i was working on a project where this was needed all right so um i'm going to ask chat gpt to create a prompt for an image of a truck carrying a house all right so i can just come over here and paste it and send so it will help me to create the prompt or rather it will help me to create the yeah the prompt all right so the two platforms i'm going to use is image fx okay image fx just so just come to google here and write image fx that's all image fx on google now there are two of them this is actually the one we are going to use this one that has a pink something pink on its um favor icon all right so just click on it then I, I think before you get to this page you are actually supposed to log in so you probably have to go through the route all right they take you to the login page where you log in because i am logged in as you can see so it takes you to the login page where you log in and then it will bring you to this page so this is where you paste your prompt Control v let us paste our prompt here um and then we see or we watch the magic then the next platform is or the second platform is i don't know exactly the pronunciation is cree um cree.ai or cree cree.ai i think that's the pronunciation or cree i don't know <laughs> cree cree anyone anyway um just hit create images now aside images there are other things this application or this platform can do for you video real time uh, instant ai generation enhancer scale up scalar and the rest of them so um but we are particularly interested in creating images or generating images so i don't think this one requires that you log in but if it does require that you log in you can log in before they bring you to the spotter all right then you hit your generate here and as you can see these are the images generated by this platform i love the images even though i feel like the contrast is a little like too much not too much uh, it's it's um it's well it's not normal okay the contrast is a bit just slightly much all right compared to this site it makes everything real all right the everything the whole the contrast everything is just very real all right but this one this one is very real with just slightly higher contrast um that's why most times i prefer going for this one where i can if i want to add contrast i can do it manually now you can let's say we want we don't want a we don't have want this kind of house we want a modern house a more a modern house let the house be modern all right so it will give us this then we can basically all, all you have to do is just to refine and fine tune fine tune sorry if you if need be all right because normally i would have gone for that anyway let's try a more modern house and see what it will give us you can also try the same prompt for 
gray here all right um yeah can you see that i love this a lot i love this so much now aside doing this the other things you can do so take for instance you have an image that you want to use let's take for instance on free pick now there is this image a happy excited happy and excited just so come on a happy excited african so let's take for instance um, because we all know that on ChatGPT and on Freepik, most of these images are used across all platforms. Like so many people use the image by the day. We don't want a situation whereby uh, the kind of images we are using um, generic images. Images are just everywhere. So we want to we want ChatGPT to help us create. Let's take for instance this man's image that has been overused. All right. <laughs> We want to use this image but we don't want to use this one on free pick all right and this is also a premium photo so even if you cannot download it even if you decide to go like this and copy image or save us even save us okay you can download the using saver but then some of them do have watermark so if he has watermark what are you going to do even though of course there is a site to remove watermark to watermark.io you can check it out watermark.io see everything i'm giving you people is just premium you see so uh, okay take for instance this one now um uh let's say we want this one let's save it to our gallery if you can't save please you can just copy it and paste it maybe on photoshop or anywhere else then you can export it from there all right so um we want this kind of image now this is the prompt uh a bit this yeah this is like the oh how did it vanish okay this is uh the description that Fippy gave which is not very detailed so how do we create an image like this that is not this one we don't want to be using images from Fippy and this one cuckoo has watermark what do we do we come to charge gpt all right we come here this is how we paste or this is where we paste the image right just click on upload from computer this is the image then tell charge gpt create Create a prompt for an image like this. That was that's the instruction we are giving to Judge GPT. Pay, let's say, pay attention to details. Now, listen. The last part is not really necessary. Okay, sometimes it is, but I don't think it is. Don't mind me. Anyway, um, I'm just being overly dramatic. So, <laughs> let's give it the prompt and see what it gives us. So we have our prompt here so we can now copy the prompt ctrl c then come to this and paste paste it here on image fx then also come here on create and paste it so let's see the result um, Did we? Oh. Oh, sorry. Okay, can you see this one has created the image already? Uh, you see why I said there is slightly. Can you see the black is too black? There is uh, too much, a bit too much contrast here. Okay, for this one, I did not paste the right prompt here. So let us redo that. Something is wrong, sorry. Image effects. And I think something happened, something went wrong somewhere. So we want to paste the prompt here. So if what you need is not a picture of a black African, a black uh, or an American, right? You can still come to ChatGPT. That's the amazing thing. The 
the model should be model should be african the model should be african okay can you oh my god this is lovely ah oh sorry i need to download this for myself because what is this Oof. so this is basically how you download it it's as simple as that now what happens if the what happens if this image like the camera angle this image touches the edge of this because oftentimes it happens here what happens when it touches this edge i know for designers when it touches this edge it has automatically ruined the image for us because it becomes very difficult for us to um it becomes very difficult for us to uh, what's it called to get a good image right because maybe the heart has been caught or something something happened what happens in this kind of situation now you can edit it right there is you can edit it there is a space for that you can change the size from this to square now when you do that let's go back sorry when you do that you can hit your create again we have changed the size from landscape to square okay so please you can do that before you start so that whatever image you generate um it won't have to be cut or it won't, nothing will be wrong with the image the reason why i'm pointing this out i cannot talk <laughs> these images are really nice come on like these are these are crazy jesus i love this um this is basically how to go about it using chat gpt and using this so um this one gave us a white american uh, an american or white person this one gave us a black person you can still tell chat gpt you need an african as i said um then just hit your copy come to create and paste it i don't know if there is limit to the number of images that you can create using create all right but on image effects it's limitless it's limitless okay yeah i love uh, image effects for that so um wow this these are really nice the lightning lighting and everything so it's also easy to download here yeah? just click on download okay so um i prefer as i said I, I prefer images from this platform i don't know obviously it's better i'm not being biased it's better so basically that's how to go about it um creating image that's how to go about creating image for free or not just the, now this does not just apply to um what's it called to uh stock photos or yeah uh, models all right this applies to basically just any other images any other kind of image all right let's go to my library now if you come down here my library if you come down you would see other things that i generated even backgrounds that i generated okay let me show you sorry the network is quite slow this morning so my whole point is you don't just limit image effects to just uh image stock photos alone all right you can go your way and create things that are very um just be creative all right you can go your way to create things that are very creative hmm. you can go your way to create things that are very creative anyway um just don't limit yourself to just creating stock photos on it you can use it to create backgrounds you can use it to create i'm trying to take you through my library to see some things i did with it i don't know it just i think it's very far where i created background can you see created a system a laptop and just so, uh, hey, see this one i was creating a design for somebody this new year this was what i needed and i came here and boom it gave me just that even though there were a lot of editing re-editing and the rest but it still came out really nice so don't limit yourself don't limit your usage right just explore expand do crazy things see this one all right so yeah these are things you can see this one these are crazy things you can do using uh, this platform can you see how crazy see hey <laughs> good um anyway uh I, I encourage you to explore right look for things explore look for things create them use chat to generate the prompt and the rest by the way there is a 
a limited number of images you can you can upload to ChatGPT if you're a free user all right so just don't forget that so uh, if you upload it to a certain number they will stop you from uploading to you sometime maybe some hours later you'll continue all right so i would advise you you do more of typing and uploading images but that is that anyway um if you learned something please do subscribe do well to subscribe to this youtube channel for more interesting videos like this thank you